Here's what you missed in March 2023. Three cast members from Bling Empire New York are burgled while in Paris for Fashion Week. The items are recovered within 24 hours and the suspects arrested. Jenna Ortega is rumored to star in the upcoming Beetlejuice sequel as Lydia Dietz's daughter, reuniting her with director Tim Burton following her turn as Wednesday Addams. After a four-year hiatus, which was prompted by criticisms of cultural appropriation, objectification, and lack of diversity, Victoria's Secret announces that they will be bringing back their iconic runway show in a new format. Actor Lance Reddick, known for his roles in The Wire and the John Wick franchise, passes away at age 60. Lindsay Lohan confirms that she is expecting her first child with husband Bader Shamus. At the 95th Academy Awards, hosted by Jimmy Kimmel, Everything Everywhere All at Once takes home seven Oscars, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Original Screenplay. Following her Best Actress win, Michelle Yeoh becomes the first Asian to win in the category. Brendan Fraser wins Best Actor for The Whale. Natu Natu, from the film RRR, becomes the first Indian winner for Best Original Song. Jimin, member of the currently on hiatus K-pop group BTS, releases his debut solo album, Face. Avril Lavigne and Tyga are rumored to be in a relationship, a coupling that takes the entire internet by surprise. Beyonce ends her partnership with Adidas, signaling the end of her athleisure line Ivy Park after seven years. Creative differences are cited as the motivation behind the mutual breakup. Paramount Plus announces that a sequel to the 1997 cult comedy Good Burger is in production. After nearly a decade, designer Jeremy Scott announces that he will be leaving his role as creative director for Moschino. Denim brand Levi's announces that they will begin testing AI-generated clothing models in an attempt to diversify their online shopping experience, which draws criticism from the public who point out that the billion-dollar company could simply hire more racially and body-diverse models if that was a concern. Lana Del Rey announces her engagement to manager Evan Wynaker. It's announced that a musical inspired by the TV series Smash is headed to Broadway, with lead producer Steven Spielberg saying, quote, Smash is near and dear to my heart, and it was always my hope that a musical inspired by the show would eventually come to the stage. Kali Uchis releases her third studio album, Red Moon in Venus, which becomes her first album to debut on Billboard's Top 10. Film producer Sebastian Bear McClard, better known as Emily Ratajkowski's ex-husband, is accused of sexual misconduct by multiple women. Disney Plus releases a documentary special with Miley Cyrus for her latest album release, Endless Summer Vacation, marking one of the singer's first projects with the company since their separation following the conclusion of Hannah Montana. Demi Lovato releases a rock version of their 2013 song, Heart Attack. Free People launches a capsule collection in collaboration with the TV series Daisy Jones and the Six, with many of the pieces being worn by the characters in the show. Rosalia announces her engagement to fellow musician Raul Alejandro. Cara Delevingne opens up about her sobriety in an exclusive interview with Vogue. Daniel Radcliffe announces that he is expecting his first child with longtime girlfriend Aaron Dark. Balmain releases a couture collection in collaboration with Beyonce, which features 16 looks inspired by the musician's latest album, Renaissance. Lana Del Rey releases her ninth studio album, Did You Know That There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard. Reese Witherspoon announces her divorce to Jim Toth after 11 years of marriage. Bad Bunny is presented with the Vanguard Award at the 2023 GLADS, which is presented to a member of the entertainment community who doesn't identify as LGBT, but has made a significant difference in promoting equal rights for LGBT people. Succession begins airing its fourth and final season. Actress Sarah Snook, who plays Shiv Roy in the series, announces her first pregnancy. Taylor Swift begins the Eras Tour, which features songs from all of her prior albums, highlighting her musical and personal journey since 2006. Only a few months after announcing their engagement, Becky G's fiancé, soccer player Sebastian Legit, apologizes on Instagram amidst cheating rumors. Retired optometrist Terry Sanderson files a lawsuit against actress Gwyneth Paltrow for damages he claimed she caused in a ski collision in 2019. Paltrow countersues for a symbolic $1 in damages, as well as repayment of her legal fees. The jury eventually finds Sanderson to be at fault. May I ask how tall you are? I'm just under 5'10". Okay, I am so jealous. I think I'm shrinking, though. <laughs> you and me both. I have to wear four-inch heels just to make it to 5'5". Five five, well, so. They're very nice. Well, thank you. Right? You're yeah. small but mighty. <sighs> Actually, you're not that small. Are you good I... friends with Taylor Swift? After eight years of performing as the duo Chloe and Hallie, 
Chloe Bailey releases her first solo studio album, In Pieces. An anime adaptation of the Scott Pilgrim graphic novels is announced, with the cast of the 2010 live-action film confirming that they will be reprising their original roles. The Hollywood Reporter releases their list of the 25 most powerful stylists in Hollywood, which includes Law Roach, Aaron Walsh, and Jennifer Austin. Jonathan Majors is arrested on assault, strangulation, and harassment charges following a domestic dispute with his girlfriend. His attorney later releases alleged text messages from the victim that state that she considers herself responsible for the event. Bad Bunny graces the cover of Time magazine. Megan Trainer releases the music video for Mother from her album Taking It Back, which features Kris Jenner in a cameo appearance. The song is later criticized for how TikTok-y and 2013 it sounds. Celebrity stylist Law Roach announces his retirement from the industry in an Instagram post, later clarifying that he intends to continue working with Zendaya, who he first met back in 2011, saying, quote, So y'all really think I'm breaking up with Z? We are forever. She's my little sister and it's real love, not the fake industry love. In later interviews, he cites burnout as well as industry challenges as the reasoning behind his retirement. K-pop group TWICE releases their 12th EP, Ready to Be. One of the group's members, Chaeyoung, is later criticized for posting a photo of herself in a t-shirt which features musician Sid Vicious wearing a swastika, which she later apologizes for. This brings up conversations about anti-Semitism within the K-pop industry. Brandy and Paolo Montavon are announced to be reprising their iconic roles from 1997's Cinderella in the upcoming Disney spin-off, Descendants The Rise of Red. Actress Sydney Sweeney releases a swimsuit collaboration with Frankie Bikinis, as well as a workwear collection with Ford as an ode to her hobby of car restoration. After 25 years on screen, the final episode of Pokemon featuring Ash Ketchum and Pikachu as a dynamic duo airs, marking the end of an era. At the annual Billboard Women in Music event, SZA is honored with the Woman of the Year Award, while Lana Del Rey is presented with the Visionary Award, the first of its kind. Emily Ratajkowski and Harry Styles are spotted making out after one of his concerts in Tokyo. Girl Group Flow releases their music video for their song Fly Girl featuring Missy Elliott. Actor Dylan Sprouse announces his engagement to model Barbara Palvin. Megan Thee Stallion throws the first pitch at the Houston Astros opening day game. Jennifer Coolidge is featured in a camp photo spread directed by the Daniels for W Magazine, which pays homage to Japanese cinema, specifically the tokusatsu genre, which led to the creation of Power Rangers and Godzilla. Jisoo, well known for being a member of the K-pop group Blackpink, releases her debut solo album, Me. Mark Zuckerberg welcomes his third daughter with wife Priscilla Chan. Amanda Bynes admits herself to a mental health hospital following a psychotic episode where she was found wandering the streets without any clothing. Donald Trump is indicted following an investigation into a hush money payment scheme. After decades of searching for an Einstein tile, a shape that never repeats, mathematicians identify a 13-sided figure which can fill an infinite surface with a pattern that is always original. Melanie Martinez releases her third studio album, Portals. Mugler unveils the first look at their upcoming collaboration with fast fashion retailer H&M, which would probably have Thierry Mugler rolling in his grave. What pop culture moment did you miss in March 2023?